Good morning. I am confused and I'd like you guys to maybe help me understand. So 12 of the Commonwealth nations have asked King Charles to please apologize for colonization and genocide when his coronation is held. I don't know if it's in a few days now in May or when it may be, but his coronation is coming up and it's led by Jamaica because Jamaica now wants to become a republic and to sever ties with the British monarch. And there's 11 other nations as well. More specifically, the indigenous people of those nations, places like New Zealand, places like Australia, Canada, and other, and other places as well, which used to be part of the British Commonwealth. I think they by and large still are part of the British Commonwealth. And they are asking King Charles to apologize for the past, you know, the past atrocities committed by the British Empire onto other nations. For me, it sounds like a fair request. <laughs> Say sorry. I know Jamaica says, or has said, one of the leaders of Jamaica said that this might be the first step in discussing reparations. I know that becomes then more controversial. But the apology doesn't sound like a lot for me personally. It's a similar thing that black people in this country, in South Africa, have asked for. They've asked white South Africans to apologize for apartheid. They have asked white people to apologize for colonization by the British and other nations. They've never received that apology, just so you guys know. If anything, um, the ANC leaders that have run government, the presidents, have gone to actually kind of bow down to the queen and to the king now. This is where I kind of get confused. Jordan Peterson, Dr. Jordan B. Peterson, who I'm a huge fan of and who has done a lot in terms of educating psychology to the world and especially empowering mentally young men, and Tristan Tate, the brother of Andrew Tate, have both gone on Twitter to say that King Charles should not apologize. <laughs> They're saying he should not. He should never apologize. That's the first part. Bit shocking for me. And Tristan Tate, by the way, and his brother Andrew are colored. They have a white and a black parent. The number of likes and comments by people agreeing with them has been shocking for me. Initially, I thought, look, it would just be a lot of racist white people saying, yeah, look, we should never apologize for being great, you know, for dominating back in the day, which I could understand. It's almost like asking people from the Zulu kingdom to apologize for the atrocities caused by King Shaga back in the day for killing and consolidating power with smaller tribes. I understand it's like, why should I apologize for my uh, leader in the past being great, you know? I thought it was just racist. I thought it would just be people saying, no, but we were right to colonize. One of the things Jordan B. Peterson said and other people have said is it was the British Royal Navy back in the 1800s that started the process to end and abolish slavery. And I think 1,600 slave ships were, were arrested, contained, whatever at the time. Um, 150,000 slaves were freed. Thousands of, of Royal Navy soldiers, you know, or members died fighting against slave owners because slave owners were not happy, British and otherwise. So as far as they're concerned, they led the charge in ending slavery. And if anything, they should be applauded for ending slavery is one of the arguments. Some of the other arguments, which I've also heard for apartheid and colonization in South Africa is, but we weren't there. We can't apologize today for what our grandfathers, great, great, great grandfathers did. And I'm confused because I'm like, but you're enjoying the privileges and the spoils of that. Now, I was dragged recently for saying that land in South Africa was not stolen, but South Africans, native South Africans were conquered. And a lot of black people to this day are still unhappy. My whole thing was this. I'm not saying that land was not taken. It was definitely taken. Forcefully so by the apartheid governments. I've spoken about it many times. It's this concept of stolen, because when something is stolen, there is a process that follows after something has been stolen. And that process is pretty clear. The reason that process has not been followed globally is because the land was not stolen as far as stolen items is concerned, but you were conquered. You were defeated. That is not to say you must rest and let it go. That's me kind of telling black people that are unhappy and frustrated that you will not get this land back through the processes of theft. You will have to get them back by conquering back. This is me actually telling people, change your strategy if you want the land back. But instead of people realizing that, they would rather attack me 
for stating the obvious. The other thing that has been trending now is that South Africans want the Cullinan diamonds brought back. I think it's one, if not nine diamonds that now sit in the British crown with one of the staffs. I don't know if it's a staff, this nice stick with a huge diamond that was sold by Thomas Cullinan, who was a huge, very wealthy miner in South Africa. To this day, there are many buildings and the like that are named after him. The Cullinan diamonds are valued between 3 billion rand today and 15 billion rand. And South Africans are saying they want them back. And my whole thing is, if we're going to waste so much energy, so much time trying to get these diamonds back, how do we benefit? Because even if we were to sell them, and if at least just the black people, just the black people in South Africa were to get the value of these diamonds, we'd each be getting about 62 rand to just over 300 rand each. In a perfect world, which will never happen. Because number one, we're not going to get the diamonds back, realistically. Number two, even if we got them back, the ANC government is corrupt. They would make sure we never get to enjoy the spoils. Number three, even if they were to share everything, 60 to 300 Rand is not something I'd like to waste my time and energy and frustration over when I could be making money and value elsewhere. Of course, bring the diamonds back, put them in a museum if you want to, but that doesn't change my reality. I am constantly disappointed by the number of woke people who seem to just not get a grasp on how the real world works. But again, maybe I'm wrong. I'm confused. And I'm here asking you guys, what am I missing? What have I missed that maybe you can assist me on? And after I've read your comments, I will then make another video and then speak about what I've learned from you. Maybe that you guys have actually made me understand. Or I will go back and be like, no, I think you guys are wrong. Pen you all the black pen.